When I was growing up, no one talked to me about why Dad acted so strange. I only knew that I hated when my friends from school would see us. In the 60s, my mom read that a loving home could cure my father's illness. But his schizophrenia didn't go away. Now that I have my own family, I'm reminded that I was about my daughter's age when my feelings of shame began. My dad's illness motivated me to become a doctor. And over the years, I've met so many people who've experienced the same thing. So much shame and silence. Recently, I've learned that over 450 million people globally have some type of mental disorder, but we hear so little. The silence needs to stop. I've decided to travel to many countries to understand the stigma and discrimination against people with mental disorders. In India, I meet Sonal and her family. I sometimes think, is there any monster in me? Bad thoughts come on my mind in excess. Some thoughts go away, and again the bad thoughts come. To tell in this society, still not so broad-minded, still they have something to hide. We used to not to disclose this to other family members. In South Africa, I meet Baiswa. I started to have depression at uh, 2008. I saw the evil things calling me to go outside, and I, I was fighting that, that, that evil things I saw. They gave me medication, their medication, but they didn't help me. In China, I visit a psychiatric hospital where I meet Jeff, a patient. Eight years, I'm not outside. I stay here. Uh, not here, what is this? Eight years is anything is uh, ordinary. Um, no problem. <laughs> Jeff's father makes a decision in rage and then Jeff can't appeal it and his father doesn't want to lose face and say he was wrong. I asked for several times, but my father don't want to take me back to home. When Dad was getting the right support and treatment, things could be good. But if not, the psychosis that took over his brain could be devastating. A few years ago, in such a state, my dad jumped to his death. I will never stop missing him. In Nepal, I was the first person to disclose my mental health problem. There was no choice. You know, I've had people in my family suffer from mental illness. You just say it's schizophrenia, 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 until it doesn't have power over you anymore. is biological. If you need more explanation about what that illness is, because some of you, for example, have not looked at autism in depth or bipolar disorder, you know, feel free to ask questions about that.